We're going deep, and we're going hard. Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious, and don't call me Shirley. Welcome back to the Achievement Grind, Completionist, Perfection, 100% Platinum Hunting Journey. With a game series very close to my heart, and the games that made me fall in love with Call of Duty, the Modern Warfare franchise. No, not these. These babies right here. If you happen to like the Black Ops series more than the Modern Warfares, I just so happen to Platinum Black Ops 1 through 3. If you would like to see those, make sure to click on the top right tab to see the Platinum playlist. But other than that, I'm going to take you all through the endless horde of enemies that plagued this campaign, the most infamous achievement in all of Call of Duty, and all of the achievements that varied from baby mode to god gamer status, with the game that helped start the popularity and immense success of the COD franchise that we all know today, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or COD 4 for short. To begin, Call of Duty 4, the OG one, as in where price looks like he deals met the high schoolers, is available on Steam, but unfortunately didn't have the original achievements like it did before, which included 37 achievements. Fortunately though, I was saved. Do you remember when Infinite Warfare became the most disliked video on YouTube? I sure as hell do, but why was this video disliked so much? Was it the constant future no boots on the ground gameplay, microtransactions, or maybe forcing people to buy this game to get their hands on a beloved game where people only just wanted that? Well, you guessed it, it's all of the above. But seriously, this is the second most disliked video on YouTube other than Justin Bieber's baby music video, the more you know. Back to my point, eventually the game was released as a separate game, which still didn't make others happy because of prices and all, but the one thing that kept me afloat were the achievements. The game would ship with new and old achievements all in one for the remastered version of Call of Duty 4. With this being my first time playing the remastered version, and even COD 4 since 2011, I had no idea what was changed and how this was going to go, but well, let's do this. To start out, the boy had to put that shit on veteran because of the usual achievements, and if I'm going to be trying to stop the next world war, you gotta get immersed with the task force. The first two achievements I went for were new squadron record, which makes a reappearance from the old COD 4, and then a new one for this game, best of the best, and maybe it's because I'm getting old, or the lack of skill, but these two achievements took me over 20 minutes to accomplish, but I'm thinking it was because of the controls. I swear, after these two achievements embarrassed me in front of my Twitch chat, it was time to revisit the campaign. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Why? Why, game? Why are you like this? Why? Why? Speaking of Twitch chat, if you guys enjoy this type of content in video form, but would like to see it in action with Twitch chat and my live reactions, come swing by my Twitch channel at Yuma97, the same name as his YouTube channel. I promise you, it's a great experience, but let's get back into it. The campaign was filled with the very typical, you have completed X levels on veteran, or you stopped the enemy from doing this. So a lot of these achievements were fillers and boring to display, but there are a few achievements that were difficult enough to garner some reactions from me. Kill an enemy while blinded by a flash grenade. Let's go! A flashbang. True. Oh my god, I, I don't remember being in the corner. Oh, I got an achievement. Kill four enemies in a row with a headshot? Kill two enemies by blowing up a car. Nice. Didn't mean to get that one. Crawling, that's my achievement. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Other than completing the campaign, I was getting absolutely steamrolled on a few levels, either being a dumbass and peeking for too long, teammates letting enemies get past them somehow, or risking everything for a single intel. Bro, my grandma can stick a fucking C4 up her. Huh? 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 Never mind. These old Call of Duties did not hold back on their difficulty setting, because my god. You're joking. You're fucking joking. No, oh, there's no way that I have to go through them. No, 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 no. That's fucking, that's vile. The one level that I took almost an hour on from the sheer amount of enemies and the patience I needed for the intel is probably the most known mission in almost all of Call of Duty. One shot, one kill. This is the mission where you need to protect and wait for evac, and of course, you aren't going out without a fight. I seriously gotta be dreaming or I was a cracked out kid, this mission felt like an ass beating. I would hide, get found, get shot, or hide all game, wait for evac, then I would have to make my way to Captain McMillan, which would be almost impossible, and then carry him to the helicopter which would still get me killed. Oh my god, I forgot the fucking 
grab him. And on top of that, this was the mission that had the hardest intel in my opinion. You would need to get through this fight and wait for a single pair of doors to open up by enemies to retrieve said intel. The problem is, they don't come out from the door, they open the door from the outside. I honestly don't know what the devs were thinking about this one, but you initially need to camp out where the enemies spawn from the pool house and wait for the enemies to come around a corner to leave the doors open. From the alleyway. Like that? No, that's from the helicopter. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Hold on, hold up. I just want to grab it. I don't care about dying. Hey, okay. Whew. After figuring out that intel shenanigan and finally getting past this mission, I spent around seven and a half hours to finally complete COD 4 on Veteran, and that's where I would leave my first day with 31 out of 50 achievements. Not bad, not bad. Griggs! Gas! Was it worth? What a tease. Oh my god! <laughs> My first day of grinding this game, I managed to get 24 out of the 30 intels because man, they put the majority of these right in front of your face, other than a few, and that one from one shot, one kill. So here's the 30th and final intel for that classic Call of Duty achievement. Flaming Barrel. Hey! 6% of people, eyes and ears. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, baby. Yeet. Day two consisted of cleanup achievements and making the most infamous achievement, Mile High Club, last. These achievements were all easy and even fun, like three of a kind, Desert Storm, Feel the Heat, Man of the People, The Man in the High Tower, Bird on the Ground, Fly Swatter, Retro Shooter, Man vs. Machine, Dogs, I Hate Dogs, Not True, Master Ninja, and Time Paradox. Time Paradox was the coolest of the bunch because this is only available on the remaster for killing Makarov, which is the main dude behind Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and apparently Modern Warfare. This achievement wants you to shoot him with a sniper to change the future, and I had to go deeper and see if it was in the original COD 4, and nope, it was not. For my first time playing through this, I had no idea he was in the front of the Jeep with Yuri. Cool little Easter egg from the devs. The last three achievements included your show sucks weapon master and mile high club your show sucks sounds simple enough jesus a lot of s words in text but in practice made me question my own eyesight you have to simply shoot and destroy over 60 tvs with al assad's speech and of course it was not easy i played this on recruit went into the level and hunted down every single tv multiple times the catches can't knife them and even blowing them up sometimes can bug the game making it seem like you didn't actually shoot the televisions don't ask me why but it it is what it is. I once again embarrassed myself in front of my Twitch chat because I got so cocky after searching throughout the whole level for every single TV to inevitably be a clown to everyone. People really don't like Jewish people, do they? Jesus. B. Four. Five. You're joking. No. You're ju Did I actually miss it? No. Riggs, turn that off. No way. One. Three. Four. Five. It's on a loop. Broadcast is recorded. What? <laughs> yeah. Score one for military intelligence. You're fucking joking! Riggs, turn to it. What if I ran out of ammo? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Clear! It's on a loop. Broadcast is recorded. Yes! 
Yeah. Yes. Your Score show sucks. Military intelligence. Yes. Weapon Master wants you to get a kill with every single weapon available for pickup in the campaign. And what makes this not fun or exciting is that the game decides to not tell you at all what guns needed to be used and what guns you have already used. So I had to pull up a guide and use some experts in my stream to help me pursue this achievement. And on top of that, some weapons you can't just find lying around, but you have to wait for a rare enemy holding said weapon to drop it for you, like my last weapon for this achievement, where you have to go through the entire last mission to get to the final bridge of the campaign, kill the enemy riding shotgun, and take his gun and kill another enemy. And that is the only place that single gun spawns in the entire game. So if you missed it and didn't have a guide, you would have zero clue what guns you need and which ones you might have used. Yo, let's go! So yeah, this achievement was unnecessarily hard for no reason, but hey, we got it and no more complaints from me. The moment you have all been waiting for and the achievement stopping me from getting that 1000 gamer score and platinum. Shirley, you can't be serious. Oh fuck. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, I forgot it takes you straight to Mile High Club. Bile High Club. You have got to be living under a rock if you don't know what this achievement is because this achievement has been known as one of the hardest achievements for gamers in Call of Duty up until Black Ops 3. The description is simple. Skydive to safety on veteran difficulty. The mission takes place after completing the campaign and is reminiscent of World at War's Zombies intro immediately after the campaign, but obviously modern. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube describing the experience of achieving this accomplishment, but I had to push this off until the very end because I am known to just grind something until completion, but with the amount of achievements I had remaining, this had to be the last one. The mission is simple. You spawn on a plane taken by terrorists and you need to save the hostage. Sounds easy enough, but you're only given one minute on veteran to run all the way through the passenger seats, climb up to the second floor, go through the rooms of enemies, and then finally shoot the enemy holding the hostage. You spawn with flashbangs, a silenced MP5, and a silenced USP. This was not enough. You cannot afford to waste any time at all. You can go through this level by going slow and reloading, but the devs knew their devilish ways would mess with us, so you have to constantly be moving and picking up weapons to make any groundwork at all. Bro, the guy's crawling! Stop yelling. I gotta 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 stop yelling. Oh, and also, for all the not informed people out there, Mile High Club is an innuendo in this game because in real life, it means having sexy times with someone on a plane. And the last time I read Wikipedia, you can go to jail up to a year for doing this and even worse from international laws and flights. So yeah, don't do it unless you want to become part of the elite. I'm joking. I don't know how I keep finding these achievements that just push me over the edge. But yep, this game did that and more. Not making it. Fucking God, fucking damn it, bro. God, why give me a pistol? Why give me a pistol? Every time I get myself in these situations, I think about what Voss from Far Cry 3 told me. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. And I did not listen because I was getting new PBs on how far I was getting into the plane. And at one point I was so down bad that I had to look up the speed run of this map to get an idea of a new strategy. Oh God, I don't know what to do. God fucking die mate. Hold up, let me see this video. As I'm recording this voiceover, I don't like showing embarrassing stuff sometimes. At one point, I almost cried. And, uh, I'm ashamed to show it, but, uh, here you go. I'm not making it. Fuck. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> Bro! I- I- do, <laughs> Get out of my fucking way! But okay, no more messing around. I had a few PBs get really far, and I had a single run miss the hostage by a literal millisecond. Oh, <laughs> 
I was at the door. I fucking was at the door. And for the love of God, at this point, my sanity was far out the window. When I start the mad laugh at things, that usually means I'm far gone for anyone wondering because I'm hiding the tears behind laughter. After failing for around two to three hours and constantly being reminded on how ass I am at this level for my Twitch chat, but not even two runs later after that cry session, I managed to get the best and completely out of the blue run of my life. That was, that was terrible. But chat, we did it. And just like that, Call of Duty Modern Warfare was completed and it felt amazing with Mile High Club being the Platinum Ender. But hey, if you enjoyed this type of content and would like to see another completion, check out Black Ops 3's achievement grind right here. It had the hardest achievement I have ever gone for in any game, and I'm not even joking. But thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment with what else you guys want to see. And make sure to come over to my Twitch channel at Yoma97 and see these live. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.